I came here to ski in 1980 and fell in love with the city. It's just a fabulous city. It's easy to fall in love with. It's young, it's vibrant. Uh, it forms a microclimate. It means we don't get cold winters here. We get fabulous climate and you can actually ski in the, in the winter and then sail in the afternoon. It's that sort of city. I went back to the UK, sold my businesses, moved out to Vancouver and I've lived here ever since. I am the owner of Avant Garde Hair Salon down in Yale Town in Vancouver. Uh, we look after lots of celebrities, but the business is really based on your average person who wants a great haircut, great service, and, and I think we provide that. Yale Town is a, a local neighborhood that didn't exist 25 years ago. It was six blocks of old warehouses. 25 years later, it's the most vibrant young uh, area in Vancouver, uh, very upmarket. The main road that runs through Yale Town, which is mainland, is two blocks long. Every single business on it is a restaurant bar, coffee bar. It's not a tourist trap area here, and so it's a great place to visit because you feel you're in that neighborhood and you're experiencing part of the city, but you don't get anywhere else. Situated right in the middle of Yeltan is the boutique Opus Hotel. The rooms are great, there's a fabulous bar, fabulous restaurant, but when you walk 100 yards from the front of Opus Hotel and you're on 10 miles of the most beautiful scenic runway, walkway, jogway around the city, and you come back invigorated and you want to start your business day off. Tons of great high-end clothing boutiques in Vancouver, but there's nothing like Leisure Centre. Oh, they have fabulous clothes from uh, people like Balenciaga, Conde Garçon, and they also have um, young designers from Asia, Japan, around the world. And then when you walk around, you, they have a fabulous juice bar, water bar, a library bar, they have a, a music centre, they have a, a, a relaxing yoga area there. It's, it's all about, when you're there, they want you to experience shopping in a different way. It's a, it's a pleasurable place to, to shop. Vancouver is blessed with hundreds and hundreds of amazing restaurants of high quality. But if you're on the coast, you really want to be enjoying the fresh seafood and the fish and the mussels and the oysters because that's what we're blessed with. When you walk through the front door of Rodney's, you know you're in a local, vibrant, fun neighborhood restaurant. Pick a chair by the bar or in the downstairs area. You can chat to people that go there all the time. You get a feel of the people that live in Yale Town. My favourite, actually, to be honest when I'm there, is I like the uh, potato encrusted halibut. It comes from the cold, deep seas off the BC coast all the way up to Alaska. It's one of those places you always want to go back to. I think of all the things in Vancouver, the absolute must-see is the UBC Museum of Anthropology. It's just a couple of miles out of the city centre. There's nowhere else like it in the world. It represents not just the West Coast First Nations, but it also represents indigenous people from around the world. It's in a stunning building. Arthur Erickson, a local architect, designed it. And it's uh, built on sacred ground, uh, the First Nations. And it showcases art, carvings, totem poles. Walk around, you are just boggled with the, uh, the history of the peoples. The colors in, in First Nations art are, are stunning because they're, they're pure. They're purely obtained from nature. So everything you see there, it really reflects the natural colors of, of what we see in nature. A must go to when you're in Vancouver. Vancouverites run on coffee. I mean, they literally run it. They run, jog, walk, drive the car with the coffee. It's a go, go, go society here. But if you're old school European, which I am, the idea of sitting down and actually enjoying the time drinking coffee is, um, is really special. And so that's why I go out to Thomas Haas. Not only is he making great coffee, but he's uh, North America's most famous pastry chef and chocolatier. He's been delivering those desserts to Barack Obama and to Bill Gates. I mean, many, many, many people just love and adore what he does. So when you go there to experience uh, the indulgence of coffee, which is what it should be, and you're sitting there and you're watching a little piece of chocolate melt into the froth of your latte and you're opening up a hot chocolate or almond croissant that was just baked this morning. And there's nothing better than that. I think having four hours in Vancouver, if you're staying here in the heart of Yale Town and you can explore the restaurants, the coffee bars, the boutiques, the architecture, the history of Vancouver, and then step outside that to explore UBC. 
with a complete picture of what Vancouver is, what it will be in the future, and what it was in its history.